Hello my friends, in the last few days I have built quite a few tiny hovercrafts. This one here runs with 17,000 6mm motors in the back and 11,000 for the lift. The first version had the flight controller facing in default orientation, but then I started to change the orientation so I can access the USB port easier while it's installed. In the back, I have installed 7mm motors on this one. The mounts are made for 6mm motors with ducts, but if you leave the ducts away, you can glue some 7mm motors in place. The front, still 11,000 kV motors. I don't think it needs to be any faster. The red one also has 7x16mm motors in the back and 14,000 kV in the front, but I didn't see any benefit of that. I glued the flight controller straight onto the main board and made a little different battery holder so the battery can go straight in the middle between the ducts. If you want to be a tiny hovercraft pioneer, I have a tiny hover alienated developer kit for you. It contains two tiny hoover foam kits from Drone Junkie, a 6x15 millimeter frame, a set of 31 millimeter props, an Alien Flight classic narrow flight controller, and a DSMX receiver, a PH2 pigtail to connect stick type batteries, and then five different pairs of motors. 11,000, 14,000, 17,000, 19,000, and 7 millimeter, 17,000. Not included in the kit, but required are batteries. You can use a lot of different batteries. I'm using 255 and 600 milliamp my LiPo batteries, and I made up a battery holder that fits both of them but you can use pretty much any battery between 200 and maybe 800 milliamp. A larger battery gives you more runtime, but I also found that it makes it more predictable and smoother with some extra weight. Also required, but not included, some sort of glue. A lot of glue works. I'm using this household glue here and carotene hot glue. Then you will need a soldering iron or a crimper to make up your power connection. And then for the outside to fix the skid pad, I'm using this cloth tape, also sold as book binding tape. Rayon cloth tape, made in Korea, number 115. Works good. This is a DSMX receiver, and to connect to it, you will need a DSMX transmitter module, like this John Prickle hack module in the back of my Tyrannus here, or like your old, good old Spectrum DX6i, or any other Spectrum radio for that matter. Yeah, so some sort of DSM radio is required, but not included. What's included in the kit is this pile over here, means two body kits, including frame, props, five set pair of motors, and flight controller plus connector. You need batteries and you need some extra stuff to assemble it. For instructions on how to assemble the kit and for instructions on how to flash and program the flight controller and for instructions on where to order the kit, click the links in the video description. See you over there.